right, we're going to talk a little bit about catfishing here. You know, we all know the famous bait for catfishing is chicken liver. And we all know how much of a pain in the butt that is to keep on the hook, no matter what you use, egg hooks, bait loops, treble hooks, it all flies off the hook, especially when you want to get out to that channel that's way out in the middle of the river. Well, I'm going to give you my insider of what to do here, you know. This is my favorite old method. It's called tying spawn pad sacks with chicken liver. Now, I like running a little bit bigger bait presentation, especially because those catfish are more of a smelly type of fish, you know, and they use those whiskers to feel around on the bottom. So I'll cut a square out probably, eh, say about five by five, just to say that, you know, just, you can always cut it off. And then I'll use a whole hunk here. Stick it right in there, fold up my tail ends, let me get these folded up here. Now I use uh, a lot of your egg fishermen, you know, even New York tying egg spawn sacks, they all know what spider wire is, it's kind of magic thread, whatever, it all works. This stuff is real nice, simple and easy, you know, you take it around, wrap it around that, that real tight knot that you did, three or four times, pull tight. Do another three or four, four times, and then you pull it tight and just cinch it off, and that keeps that knot real nice and tight there. You know, that's a perfect size right there for catfishing. Now you just trim that off. Now I usually run like a two-odd hook, circle hook, you know, I just barely tuck it right through that netting just to keep that on there. You can catch multiple fish with this, you know, and that's the best part about this method, and you can never cast it off, I can tell you that. Now, I like to put them in these Tupperware containers, you know, mostly because, like I said, catfish or a smelly type of fish, you know, and chicken liver already smells well. Using Potsy's catfish nectar right here, stuff's really good and it enhances that smell, you know. You let this stuff soak overnight and you dunk it in the river and it gives you that good scent trail, you know, there's catfish coming up in the holes or just moving through the river. You want as much scent in that river as you want, so. You shake this bottle up a little bit, get all that nice juicy stuff to the top, get it mixed up. I like to just dump a whole bottle right in the container. You know, usually I have more sacks in here, but I just dump the whole bottle right in the container. I'll let that sit overnight, or if I go fishing, you know, say I want to go fishing tonight, and I'll put it in this morning, you know, I'll dump the whole bottle in, put it in my refrigerator, boom, six, seven o'clock at night, ready to go fishing. <laughs>